Hello everyone, Sarah with you today. So for the month of October, we are working with negative space for Technique Tuesday. So I thought it would be fun to grab one of the gorgeous cut files that Rachel designs for us at a cherry on top, but use the negative space instead of the positive space. So I cut my cut file from a piece of coconut swirl white cardstock. I cut it across the entire bottom of my white cardstock. And I have the inside pieces. We're going to play with those in just a little bit. I, for product, I've chosen 49th and Market Spectrum Gardenia Collection. This collection is still available in a Cherry on Top's shop. And I receive these products and I haven't used them yet. I'm sure you probably have products in your stash that are the same way that you haven't used yet, but they were gonna work perfectly for today's photograph and project. So I started by choosing a pattern paper that I liked behind my cut file. Now, we're gonna play a lot with this cut file. This title piece is going to become both my title for today's layout it's also going to be decorative it's also going to act as my journaling so this is going to do triple duty on my layout today i used a pencil to mark where the negative space was on my background paper and now i am just trimming down my 12 by 12 piece of paper that i want to use and back it right there behind my cut file next i'm going to put the middles of each of the words back into my paper but i'm going to leave it right here on my glass mat because we are going to get it messy. So I'm just putting in all the inside pieces of the B's and the D's and the O's and the A's. I've placed beside me a little bit of a scratch piece of white cardstock. We're actually going to utilize this cardstock. So I'm going to use it to begin with to get the color coming out of my mists here. And then I am going to use those pieces again. So I am using chroma mists from Brutus Monroe. I have four different colors that I'm going to go ahead and use today. I am spraying them right onto my background. If you remember correctly, the pattern paper that I'm using has that kind of splashed look and I want to kind of add that splashed look to my layout, um, to the front. Now, because I used coconut swirl cardstock from Basil, which is the best cardstock to cut on a cutting machine with, but it is not necessarily the best cardstock to use uh, mixed media on. So what I'm doing is I'm spraying these sprays, but then I'm coming back with a piece of paper towel and soaking up anywhere that that mist has kind of pulled. Um, that is going to keep the warping to a bare, bare minimum. For colors today, I have chosen peacock, apricot, wisteria, and dragon fruit. All three, all four of these chroma mist colors are ones that have some mica or a little bit of an opaque finish, which I absolutely love. I am just making sure that they are completely incorporated before I spray them and then dotting off the extra spray that might be there. And that piece of scrap paper that's off to the right, uh, we're going to use that. So while it is at this moment acting as a nice little place for me to kind of practice spray, make sure that my spray bottles aren't clogged. We're gonna use it later on in the project. The last darker spray that you saw me splatter is Angel of Music. This is a chroma mist that has a real dark color and then it has a gold and I wanted to add that to it because 
Um, the Spectrum Gardenia that we are using today has a lot of pops of black and I want to accentuate those pops of black and more about that later because we're gonna use some more black highlights on our page. Now it's time to glue. So I left my paper and all of the insides that we had sprayed the color on sit and dry completely, 100% completely dry before we start gluing. I am using a combination of like red line tape or tarot tape, uh, cherry tape, and I am also using Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive with the um, Precision nozzle on it because that will give me a nice thin little way to add some glue to the small pieces of my cut file and that way everything will stay stuck. To get this all in place, I am starting at one end of my paper and smoothing that pattern paper over to the other end. So uh, you can see here I'm only going about halfway, pulling the release paper off the cherry tape, and then smoothing it all down as I go so that I don't get any kind of warping or the paper doesn't uh, like smooch together, I hope that makes sense, so that it all <laughs> lays nicely behind the cup file. Now I'm coming in with all of those inside pieces and I'm going to go ahead and glue them right in to place. All the insides of the A's and the E's and the B's and the D's and the O's. Next I'm going to work on the upper part of my layout. So I am going to go ahead and cut, I believe this is three inches or three and a half inch strip. And I chose a section of this pattern paper that I thought worked really well. I'm gonna put my photo right there. And then this is a branding strip or a zip strip from the one of the pattern papers that's gonna add a little bit of that black and white in there. I did not at this point realize that my camera was zoomed in this much, but I fixed it in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of my laser cut elements and choose a couple just to add a little bit of accent around my photo. So my photo is of my niece, Ella, and my dog, Andre. If, you are, um, if you've been around my channel, you know I also have a little mini dachshund. It fits that I scrapbook all the time. Andre is technically my oldest son's dog, although he is my constant companion with Fitz all day. So I don't quite know how that all works, but he sleeps with Morgan. So I guess that makes him Morgan's dog. And he, um, both my dogs absolutely adore my niece, Ella. Whenever she comes to visit, they are just the best little gang. And, um, they play together and she has the best time with them. So I have this photo of Andre and Ella and I'm just going to add a couple of layers behind my photo and a couple of little floral elements, but we're going to keep this really, really simple because we have all of that gorgeousness at the bottom and I don't want this layout to get too, too busy. Once I had that all those elements into place. Here comes the front part. So I want to boost that black that's in this collection. Um, we have it across the top. I have it in the splatters and I want you to be able to more easily see the title. I also, I mean, this is a really kind of fun layout. It's about a little girl and her dog and I wanted something a little bit playful, a little bit messy. So I'm taking a gel pen. This took a long time. It's a little detail. It's a little detail that I adore. And I am going to go ahead and outline all of the letters in the cut file. Just to just for that little detail, I love how this looks. And yes, it took a little while, but that's kind of my jam: are the adding those little details um, to your layouts to give them um, 
that little bit of a personal touch or when they just need it like these letters really needed to be outlined in black I think it's the easiest thing and it added so much like look how awesome that looks so now we're gonna add a little bit to our title slash journaling remember that scrap piece of paper I sprayed all the sprays on well now that that is completely dry I am coming in with these 49th and market rub-ons they're the swishy font I love these well rub-ons they go on like butter they are super nice and smooth I'm not a fan of the packaging but the rub-ons themselves are amazing so the rest of my title slash journaling is going to be I am easily distracted by dogs and Ella now that I have those pieces done I'm gonna just uh, trim up the part that says in Ella, I'm going to outline everything with some more black gel pen and put them into place. And that is what we're going to call this layout done. I had so much fun playing with these cut files. I think working with the negative space of a cut file gives you an entirely different look and feel. And it really allows you to customize a cut file and make it your own. So I hope that this gave you some really great ideas on some of the things that you can do with some of the gorgeous cut files over at the shop. I'm just going to get the last little piece of my title slash journaling into place. And that's where we're going to call this layout all done. Here are all of the close-ups. I love how this layout turned out. It turned out so, so cute. Even with all that color, I think we've managed to strike the balance between busy and not busy. And I hope you enjoyed this process. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.